everyone, this is Carolina Hernandez. For, the, for those that don't know me yet, I am a fashion designer and what a great way to start the year with a sewing challenge. So during this video, I'm gonna teach you how to make a scrunchie, okay? This is our first project of the year, how to make a scrunchie, okay? The video itself is gonna show you how step-by-step -step make the little scrunchie. Now, if you wanna make different variations like the ones I'm wearing, you're gonna have to tune in for another video that I'm gonna be sharing later on uh, during the year, okay? Okay, so this is how your pattern is gonna look, okay? Once you print it at home, it's gonna be just one page. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna cut through this line, okay? You're gonna cut through this line, then you're gonna also cut this one. And then you see those hearts, right? This is part one, and it has two hearts. This is part two, and it has two hearts. So these hearts, once you cut it, we have to tape it next to it uh, to connect the pattern together, okay? And once you do that, your pattern should be one piece. It should look like this, okay? It should be like this. Literally one, one um, continues, one piece together. You see how the hearts are matching? Kind of matching, right? Because they're not even, but you know what I mean? Like, they're supposed to be part one, part two. And just to show you how you're going to read the pattern, uh, once we cut it, right? These arrows means that that's where we want to fold the fabric, okay? And this line right here, which is the seam allowance, is right here, 3 8 7 inch seam allowance. I don't want you to think too much about the pattern, but um, this is how your pattern should look like, okay? Essentially what it is, this is kind of like your cookie cutter. This is what you're going to use to cut your fabric. So these are some of the items that you're going to need. Fabric, I would recommend to get a cotton because doesn't it doesn't stretch okay this is a um, broth cloth cotton or if you have a you know like a tablecloth or old sheets that you want to use you can do that too you're going to need about a quarter of a yard for the scrunchie okay you're going to need half inch of elastic you're going to need eight inches of it okay uh you can use a quarter inch if you want to as well that's going to work perfectly fine Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to fold my fabric like this. Okay, on the right side. You can do it on the right side or the wrong side. It doesn't matter. And I'm going to explain to you why. So this pattern, right, it has these two arrows right here. It means it's going to fold. It, it means the fabric is going to fold on this direction. Okay, so as you can see, my fabric is folded, right? And I'm going to make sure this edge matches the edge of my fabric where it's folded, okay? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this thing to, to add some weight so when I cut it, it's not going to move, okay? And as you can see, it's, you know, it's folded, all right? So now my fabric should look like this, okay? It should look like one long piece, look. See, like this. See how it's folded? First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna stitch this opening on the side, okay? So I'm gonna do it on the on the right side, I mean on the wrong side, okay? I'm gonna stitch the wrong side here as you look at the pattern, right? Three eight, three eighths of an inch seam allowance. Okay, now that I stitched my section here, okay, you can see it's stitched now, right? My opening is stitched now. Now what I'm gonna do, it's I'm gonna fold these sections, okay, like this. And essentially what I'm gonna be doing is, let me move it this way, that way you guys can see. I'm gonna be stitching here. Okay, so remember, we're going to be doing 3 eighths of an inch along this line, okay, all the way around. And then when I get to a certain point, I'm just going to keep pulling, okay, I'm going to keep pulling, and then, so I can continue sewing, okay, so I can continue going with a 3 eighths of an inch all the way. Now, I'm going to come to a point where it's not going to be so much to turn over. 
So that's when you get a stop. You get to leave about, I'm going to say about the size of two fingers, about one inch of opening so we can flip it over, okay? Like I said, I don't want you guys to get confused. So it's already, I have one piece, right? Like this. If you get confused, right, just fold the inside first because we're not going to stitch that, okay? We're going to stitch the outer layer, okay? And you got to make sure you're, that you're stitching on the grown side of the fabric because if you find yourself stitching on the right side of the fabric, that means you have it backwards, all right? All right, now my scrunch is gonna look like this, okay? So remember we left that one inch opening. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull the interior of it, okay? And I'm gonna pull it all the way out. So essentially what we're doing is we're turning it the right side out, okay? And it's gonna look like this, okay? Now, I put my tag, but you don't have to put a tag, okay? Now what we're gonna do is we wanna grab our eight inches of elastic and our safety pin. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna attach it to the end of the elastic, okay, like this. It's gonna look like this. Cause what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna insert the elastic in the opening that we made. And I'm gonna try to pass the elastic all the way to the other end. But make sure you hold it, like I usually hold it right here, so you won't lose it, okay? Because I'm gonna keep pulling and pulling until I get to the other end. So, and that's why it's good to have a big safety pin because it's easier that way. Okay, so see, I'm almost there. So once I get through this opening right here, okay, I'm gonna pull it, I'm gonna stitch this two ends overlapping each other, okay? And it could be like half inch on top of each other. Okay, so I'm gonna bring it to my machine. Okay, so now that we have our scrunchy, like all um, the elastic inside, okay? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna close this opening, okay? But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my finger to keep it as flat as possible, okay? And I'm gonna pin the beginning of the opening as well as the end okay that way I know how far do I need to stitch okay and the thing is I'm gonna stitch as close to the edge as possible okay so if you want to put another pin put another pin but I need to make sure that I stitch along the edge right here so I'm gonna put my needle right here and do back stitch and then come all the way to the end and then back stitch again okay so I'm going to backstitch a little bit, come all the way, and backstitch again, and then take it out, okay? Now I'm going to cut the excess of thread, and then we should be done. I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, give me feedback all right if you were able to make your scrunchies don't forget to subscribe and also follow me on social media veteran couture and veteran couture art